And the Albanese government is so desperate now. I mean, the, the voice to me is dead, right? It's absolutely dead. Uh, the government's now so desperate that it today got really personal against opposition leader Peter Dutton, uh, both the Attorney General and especially the Treasurer. Well, it was just simply playground abuse. Have a listen. In this campaign of misinformation and mistruths, the opposition leader is the chief propagandist. He has seen this from the very beginning, not as a chance for unity, but as an excuse to practice the usual nasty and negative and angry and dishonest and divisive politics. One of the consequences of the leader of the opposition's policy for two referendums, not one, is that this will drag out for as long as possible so the leader of the opposition can drip more poison into the well. The House needs to absolutely insist that the Treasurer withdraw that disgraceful slur. Matt, what's going on here? Well, it's, a, it's desperation, isn't it, uh, Andrew? Uh, uh, no case. So it's a yes case, isn't it? Kind of desperate position. I don't think it's all over yet. There's a long way to go. But you can see here that they will seek to do everything they can to try and claw back some kind of partisan advantage here by attacking one side of politics. And I, I, the same sort of vitriol was, uh, was spewed in the Senate at question time as well. And it was instructive to me that Penny Wong, despite making these severe conclusions about the behaviour of the opposition, had not one example of the misinformation <laughs> that we apparently had been spewing. Uh, not, not one simple example of where our arguments were, were wrong. I mean, the, the no case here, and myself and Peter Dutton and others, have simply been asking basic questions about how this is going to work, how many people will be... On, on, on the voice, uh, uh, for what length of time will they be on there? There's just no detail coming from the proponents of this. And the old adage does ultimately ring true. If you, if you don't know uh, what's in this, you should definitely vote no. Well, I have to say, if this is all about bringing Australians together, we see now the sort of poisonous debate this uh, voice proposal has unleashed in Parliament as well. It's disgusting. Matt, you spoke at the Nationals Conference on the weekend arguing for an end to the net zero target and tougher environmental controls and all those wind and solar projects are mushrooming around the country. I mean, Net Zero Australia Group, they actually had this amazing graphic of how much of Australia would be covered by wind farms and solar farms by 2060 to get to net zero. It's incredible. It's, it's whole patches of the country. Uh, what's your uh, position here? What are you arguing for? Well, well, Andrew, I think uh, the country, or at least a political elite here, have signed up to this net zero idea with very little understanding of what it actually means. It just sort of sounds good. It's been a, a, a soundbite, uh, not, not a detailed plan. And when you get into the detailed plan, and good on the, the organisation Net Zero Australia, who are a pro-net zero group, they've actually mapped out the plan for us all. And their, their, their conclusions are that we will have to blanket uh, an area the size of half of Victoria uh, with solar, wind and transmission lines uh, to meet this ridiculous target. Some of those areas you put up on the map, they're like 300. They think they're gonna, we're going to have 300 kilometre wide circles of solar panels. I mean, this is totally insane. It is never going to happen, which means net zero will never be, be happen, which means we're just telling people lies right now. We can't, I, I, I'll let you in a secret. I, almost everybody I talk to down here kind of realises that net zero won't happen. They just think they have to say these things to get elected. Well, we, we lied yep. to people during COVID for quite a bit of time. We lost trust with the, the Australian people and I don't think we should continue down that path. It's time for some hard truths. Absolutely correct, uh, Matt Canavan. Thank you so much indeed for your time.